Make sure you bring me back some mackerel and squid. As you can see, heading out in the dark and the main target species is mackerel and squid. The plan is to fish two squid rods, each with three squid jigs on a pattern oster. Sometimes both popped in the rod holes to fish themselves and sometimes manually work in one, leaving the other to fish itself. This is a method I have shown many times in the past. I'm also going to fish a string of sabikis and a jig for the mackerel or anything else I can catch. I'll be drifting for the whole session. First down with the squid rods and later I will start fishing with the sabikis. Well nothing yet. Um, as you can see we've got a bit of light now. Um, I really don't know how today's going to go. Um, just hopeful really. It's a very very small tide whether that will have an, a factor but it's about half an hour before low water now and the plan is to to fish down to low water and fish the whole of the flooding tide. As you can see I've got the one rod on the right working itself and I'm manually working this one but what I'm going to do normal normal procedure really if I see some patches go through then um, I'll go down with the sabikis and the jig and uh, see if I can pick up pick up something else hopefully mackerel but uh, squid and as I said in the intro there squid and Squid and mackerel is the target species, but we'll we'll see. See how it goes. Sometimes when you come out uh, fishing with a plan and something else turns up, you're just grateful for what you can catch. But I'm only I'm only actually geared up for squid and squid and mackerel with the sabikis and the jig. But of course, other things will take the sabikis and take the take the jig on the end of the sabikis. Well, I hope I at least catch something today. Um, this is going to be my last chance to get out on the kayak, probably until November. I'm really busy, really busy at work at the moment, and I've stole a stole a day today uh, because it's coming in really rough next week. And I thought I better, I better, t I better get out there, and otherwise I'm just just not going to get out there and it's been a while as many of you know that follow the channel since I've been out been out to get out on the kayak but yeah so hopefully I'm away beginning of November going up country for a week first time for a couple of years since the troubles and I'm going to be doing some fly fishing for trout there no be no sea fishing miles from the sea fly fishing for trout at a fan fantastic place I might do a video of that but after this trip as regards kayak fishing it's not going to be probably well into November unfortunately uh, given I've got the oh, the weather to coincide with availability well we got something and be interesting to see see what it is but at last at last I've got something it doesn't seem to be kicking Oh, it's kicking a bit now. What is it? It is. Ah, scad. Horse mackerel. Well, I can tell you that if there's not if, if there's not going to be any mackerel around, um, then these will be fine. Horse mackerel. I know many people don't like eating them. I think they're very bony. Personally, I don't don't have an issue with them. But yeah, great. Right, just re I'm just resetting up the drift. Now, basically what I'm doing is <clears throat> drifting, starting off on banks at about 60, 70 foot of water and the drift is taking me across, across the deep channel 
back over the other side and back up again up the banks up to the shallower water and interest interestingly I caught the uh, caught that horse mackerel that scad up the banks in, in, in the sh shallower water I don't know if the camera will pick up the um, the fish finder but if you if you can if you look at the bottom there the dark bit see how it's it's rising up now that's where I'm going up up the contours on the on the GPS up to about that and down we go with the squid jigs ever hopeful little tip I can give when you're fishing like I am with two with rods out one rod or two rods out fishing themselves and in this case fishing for squid but you can do it you can do the same for mackerel just let them fish themselves when you've got as I've got today absolutely flat as a pancake and a small tide I am of course I'm getting movement the, the movement with the tide so the squid jigs are moving along slowly but if you have, if it's flat as a pancake like this in other words there's not enough swell to move get the up and down movement there is there is always going to be a little bit of up and down movement what you can do when it's only when it's flat calm is just give the kayak a little rock like that see that see how they were obviously you're not going to rock it to cause yourself and tip yourself over all you need is a little little rock like that occasionally just to add a bit of movement I've, ha I've had that work before when it's flat calm um, suddenly you get a squid squid take it now then could could this be mackerel oh -ho -ho. Unfortunately, it's caught my squid line, so I think I think it probably is mackerel. It is, and I can't tell you how pleased I am. And it's a good mackerel. It is a good mackerel. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, that's a that's a lovely lovely mackerel. Right down I go again. Now that that mackerel, nice mackerel, got me in a bit of a pickle. It it picked up the other line, which which is a bit of a bit of a can be a bit of a problem when you're fishing several rods like this particularly with mackerel but uh, one, of, one of the reasons was that um, when I hooked it I was messing around trying to turn the cameras on and that allowed the mackerel oh we got something that allowed the mackerel to um, to swim around so it's just taken me a while to fortunately it, it picked up the, one of the squid rods which is braid Unfortunately, I didn't uh, didn't lose any braid. I just had to change the, the sabikis. Oh, <clears throat> this is just a tiny whiting, which we'll quickly get back. Now, this is this is interesting. I don't know what this is, but this is um, this doesn't feel like mackerel. And it's banging. Now I wonder. I wonder what this can be. It definitely doesn't feel it's not swimming all, all over the place like mackerel does. Oh, it's a it's a it's a nice gurnard. Fantastic. Oh. 
brilliant. Love, love Gurnard to eat. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you the, I'll show you the lure that I caught it on in a minute. I just changed the jig. Um, I'll just deal with this Gurnard. Well, things are getting better. All I need now is a squid. Just get one squid, and I'll be really happy. Okay, what I what I, I just changed the jig. Now I, I talked about this in another video. Just just give me a minute, and I'll sort get myself sorted, and uh, we'll we'll have a look at it. If those of you have seen the video, okay, what we've got. I think it's cup might be 18 months ago, two years ago. I did a video about this 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 setup, and it's mainly for bass and mainly for bass fishing in the surf. It was sent to me by a, another YouTuber from Portugal that they use with great effect down in Portugal in the surf for bass. So basically, you got a jig there. In this case, this is about 42, 43 grams. Just a silver jig which is kinked and then to the end to that is attached a soft plastic in this case is what they call it's a bit like a gummy mac it's what they call out in Portugal a pinglin a pinglin and it's rig weed weedless because they use it they use it uh, for bass over shallow rough ground so that means you can cast out over the shallow rough ground because it's it's all weedless and in shallow water and able you to fish it. So I featured this, showed this, um, mainly for bass, and it works. It's had its best in the surf. Of course, you got this as an attractor, and this teaser trailer imitating a sand hill. But I have often thought that well, this obviously would work for other species you know it worked for pollock over the reefs it would work for cod so I thought I'd bring it today to to try it and it's proven that's the first time down that it hooked that gurnard so that's great but there's nothing new about this the sim a similar setup to this for striped bass is out in America where they use a what they call a diamond jig so it's a different type of jig but basically it's a metal jig diamond jig and they and they attach same sort of thing a uh, little gummy mac to it but these these are you as far as I'm aware these are unique to Portugal I believe someone makes them out in Portugal where you can rig it uh, rig it weedless so yeah great I'm pleased to to show that actually catching a fish even if it isn't isn't a, a, a bass so if you watch this Vic Vicolo Vera Fishing, Portugal. Very good bass angler. Thanks very much, Vic, uh, for sending me those. I know different kayak anglers have different preferences of, of tackle and reels, but you can see me using a fixed ball reel here. And on the, you saw earlier on the squid rods, I've got the bait casters, tight, small multipliers. Now, usually I only ever use a fixed ball reel when I'm kayak fishing is when I'm casting and retrieving lures, mainly, mainly after bass, let's say, but maybe spinning for, for mackerel, but mainly bass, casting and retrieving for the bass. Because when it comes to this vertical fishing, I absolutely hate using fixed ball reels when I'm having to do this, work it. It seems to me so much easier when you've got a little, a little mini multiplier like this, bait casting reel, operate with one hand so you can release the line with one hand, whereas that, to release line, if I'm moving up and down the water column, I've got to use my other hand to, to undo the bail. I hate it. Some people get, prefer fixed balls. I hate it. But the the reason that I'm having to use it today is I had I had three bait casting reels, and one of them's packed up, so I've only got two now. This is a little bait casting rod. See the trigger finger there, so I should have should have uh, a bait casting reel on there, fishing it that way. 
and, and as I say, operating it one hand. I just I just find this so so uncomfortable uh, with the fixed ball. But then again, that's just my personal preference. But it may help some of you that are thinking about. You. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, we're in. Ah, right. Is this mackerel? Yeah. If, oh yeah. This feels like this feels like mackerel. And this feels like good mackerel. Oh, it's a string of them. Way. Yeah, definitely. Ah, damn it. It's picked up the squid line again. Oh. Oh, this is good. Now, have I got a, a big mackerel? Or have I got a string? I've got a few, I'm very pleased to say. Yeah, and one of, one of them's a good, another good one. Come on, come on, come on. And caught a good mackerel on that, um, oh no it isn't, no. I thought I got one on that pingling. Come on, in you come. Oh, that's a beauty, that bottom mackerel, look at that. Another great mackerel. What I've decided to do is, as I don't see to be any sign of squid, is pull one of the squid rods in. Just have the one on the right hand side here, uh, because it caused me one or two problems when I hooked those mackerel and picking up the, the line of the rod on the left there, um, which is a bit of a pain. So to prevent that, I'm um, just, just gonna fish the, the sabikis and the jig on the left side and the squid the squid rod on the right I mean if if a squid turns up give me a sign that there are there are maybe some around uh, then I might put, put the other rod out again um, but there doesn't seem to be any around at the moment but you never know with the squid fishing it's hit and miss could suddenly a few could suddenly turn up move through and uh, you pick one or two up but at the moment I'm really pleased now because it didn't look too good this morning. It looked pretty dire with lifeless fish finder, but really pleased to pick up the, those uh, mackerel, particularly the two really good sized ones and the gurnard and the scad. So, so I'm happy and uh, all the fish that I've caught so far have been basically right down the bottom. Mackerel again. Good mackerel. Yeah, good sized mackerel. Well, now I've managed to find a few fish, all I'm doing now with the drift is, is basically just hitting the repeat button. So I'm just trying to get the, get the same drift, there we go, each time. While, while, the, drift, while the drift is in the, this, the, the same direction. Um, if, the drift, if the drift changes, then I'll, then I'll have to maybe change the, the positioning of where I start the drift. But, so yeah, just hitting the repeat button 
keeping the keep working down the bottom because that's where the fish appear to be I'm not seeing anything up in the in the actual up in the water column all down the bottom and that's where they're I'm finding them I've got a small one here so I'm gonna see if I can get this one get that one back and keep the others well it's gone very very quiet now I haven't had uh, anything for about three quarters of an hour so I consider myself very lucky to have have get the few fish that I that I have caught but I've still got about two and a half hours left of the session I'm just gonna fish to high water and then that's it call it a day but I might um, I might try try a different drift now because this drift this particular area seems to have dried up now and the fish have moved so not going to move far but might just try try a little bit of a different area in, in a moment if if no more fish show up pretty soon well it looks like the move paid off I'm not sure whether this is oh yeah I think it is mackerel It is. I don't believe it. I've got a squid. I've got a squid on. Oh, brilliant. At last. And I had, uh, I'd given up on them be honest and I literally just re-paddled re to, to um, do a drift just reset a drift and literally it was only down a short while fantastic oh that is brilliant Right, I'll sort this out. Just goes to show, you never know, just keep trying. No, I am really encouraged. I must mark that spot. always try and do that if I remember sometimes I forget is if you get one mark mark the spot although it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get uh, get another one there of course and um, they just could be just moving through Got the squid jig caught up in the net now why is this always the way when I'm I'm in a rush now to get back down and, uh, and now I'm in a tangle with the squid jig in the net. Right, I'm back down again. Now again, that was just fishing itself basically, I, I lowered it down, reeled it up, a few turns off the bottom, popped it in the rod holder and just left it and then more or less, more or less straight away over it went. Now this leaving in the rod holder 
to, to fish itself. Um, I've mentioned this many times before when I've done squid fish, squid fishing videos, and I've done quite a few now. I'll put them all in the in the description, links to them in the description for those that are interested. But I've, men I've mentioned it um, in a video oh, several years ago now. Um, yeah, it often it often pays, and sometimes it will outfish if you've got two rods. Uh, when you're working a rod, I mean both methods work, but it definitely pays to uh, pop a rod in a rod holder and fish itself. Particularly as I'm sort of multi-species trying to catch mackerel with the one rod, but uh, and then you know I can't work. Obviously, I can't work both rods at the same time. But I've, I'll think about it. I've got about two hours left. Whether to forget the mackerel now. So I've got a few and um, put the other squid squid rod back out, but we'll see. Because I caught that squid, I've got both both squid rods out now, just drifting along here, um, just in case a few squid are moving through. Um, but I'll carry on, see if I can pick up more mackerel, but I've changed from the sabikis to, to these, these DIY mackerel feathers with the tubing, the Troy's fishing idea that I mentioned last year, just a bit of tubing. Um, the reason for that is that if I do, do catch mackerel and they, they swim all over the place and pick up one of the squid lines, these, and being much bigger, are not going to be as hard to untangle as the sabikis, the little sabikis, which of course at times can be an absolute nightmare. So, but if that's the only squid that I get, I'm absolutely over the moon because it really, really didn't look, it didn't look like I was going to pick any up at all. Again, I'll, I'll just leave these two rods to fish themselves, but because it's so calm, I'll just occasionally give the, give the kayak a bit of a rock to add a bit more movement. See if that uh, is an added attraction. Well, I'm going to make this the last drift now. It's gone really quiet, the fishing. So I don't think I'm going to get any more. And it's nearly time, the time I was going to pack in anyway. So, but, so I'll close the video now. But if I get something with this last drift, then obviously I'll come back again. So I'm really, really pleased. When I started off this morning, it was, didn't look like it was going to be a very good day at all. Um, managed to catch that scad, which at least saved, saved the blank. But after that... It didn't look promising at the time, that time of the morning, when I expected to, if I was going to catch some fish, to catch them then. But then, thankfully, a few mackerel turned up and some good ones as well, which was absolutely brilliant. I'm really pleased about that. And even more thankfully, I got the squid. And that definitely didn't look like it was going to happen. So, really pleased. And Linda will be really pleased as well, because squid and mackerel are two of her favourites to eat, and mine as well. So, next kayaking fishing video is unlikely to be and probably well into November. I've got other commitments going up country um, beginning of November. But I might do some shore fishing videos if I can and maybe a trout fishing video when I'm, when I'm up country, but we'll have to see. So hopefully November, mid to end of November, subject to the weather and with me, availability and weather coinciding, try and get another kayak fishing video out. Um, and again maybe in December but we'll have to see how it goes so once again I hope you found that useful and many many thanks for watching